Hey everybody, how we doing today? Kind of beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. But the wind is ramping up. You can kind of see the white caps on the flats over there. So wind is starting to blow, but I think we can sneak in a couple of hours. Uh, I've got the snook shirt on. So I think I'm gonna go hit the snook tree uh, or, and see what's over there. But I wanna do a little better prep time, maybe uh, pick up some uh, pilchards, mullet, or even better would be some grunts or pinfish. I'm not gonna catch them, I'm just gonna cast net. So we'll have to see how it goes. So I'm gonna hit the swimming pool, the little uh, bridge quarter there, see if there's pilchards there. If not, I'm gonna look around the uh, flats edges for grunts probably. I just want a, a nice hardy chunk bait with some thick skin that won't pull off easily. Then uh, maybe hit the snook tree, maybe take a look at the flats, see how bad it is out there and just kind of go from there. We have a couple hours just to spare before it starts getting windy. So that's the plan. Oh wow, the uh, wind must be cutting over and getting knocked down because it's really nice visibility over here. I thought it'd be a little bit rougher, but uh, I think I'll just run the flats here real quick, hit these bonefish holes just to quickly check them. Then I need to find some bait. Oh yeah, there goes the wind. <laughs> there goes our visibility. But I've been practicing so I could see through this stuff. There they go. Shoot. They're right there in that dang hole. So I know they're going to come back. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I rushed it. All right. They're going to circle around and go right back there. I know it. So got to be stealthy. Come back. All right, let's see if there's anything else on this other, these other uh, sand beaches over here. Maybe a permit hanging around. All right, we're going to push pull over to the swimming pool and see if there's any pilchards in there. I'll take glass minnows, but I really don't want to deal with the mess again. And the only reason why I'd want the pilchards is if I could keep them alive. So we'll see what's there. I still might hit the flats corner over there for some grunts. I think that's actually the better option, but we're here. We'll check it out. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to run back to that channel and see if I can ambush those uh, four bonefish that are probably going to go back to that same hole. Well, there's a big old pool of glass minnows. It's hard to see in this murk. I could blind throw on those, but... That would look like a mess. It's hard to even see down there, but let me check the other pool and then we'll go from there. There they are, pilchards, nice big ones. Oh, underneath that weed mat, those little suckers. I'm still going to throw on them, I think. Yeah, sneaky little guys. Yep, there they are, all through there. It's a big old long line of them. See them flashing right there. They're starting to go back in. All right. I think we have a plan. So you can see them right there. They're just staying right underneath that cover there. I don't need a lot. But I want to throw the seven foot net. Because I'm going to catch a bunch of that weeds. And that's going to impede the descent. I think that's my best bet regardless. I think I'm just going to kind of throw in that pool right there. You can see the little bubbles? That's pilchard farts. See bubbles, bubbles? So they're there. I'm just going to catch a bunch of weeds, but I should get my share of pilchards. So this might be a big mess, but I think it'll be worth it. Oh yeah, we're going to catch some weeds. I can see them sparkly in there it's gonna sink I don't know if it's even strong enough to sink all those dang weeds oh no oh no oh no well at least that cleared a hole for us oh no yeah that was bad See if they run out. Oh, that was that was not good. Yeah, there's there's a pilchard there. 
I think I'm gonna have to let him go though. Oh, that was, yeah, that was bad. Ugh. There's more in there. Oh. Well, I got weeds. I'm a farmer. All right, they're over there, so I'm gonna try to spook them that way. Oh, they're right underneath me now. Let's see if we can do something better here. I just don't want them to like take off. Oh, look at all of them. Holy crappers. Get the net, get the net. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, they're running. Oh, they're running. Gotta hit them. And I see a sparkle. And I see weeds and sparkles. Haha, <laughs> I got you that time. Yeah, I did. I got weeds and sparkles. Yeah. There we go. That's what you call winning there. Unfortunately, these are going to die really quickly. But I could still use them. We are done. Two and done. That's how we do it. All right. See if we can keep a couple of these guys alive. They're going to die quickly. We're over here at the snook tree. I see snook right there. All along there, a bunch of snook. So I'm gonna clean up a bit first. Then I'm gonna start chumming them. I'll see if see if anything comes up to these right off the bat. Gotta sink, gotta sink, gotta sink. They gonna get it, they gonna get it. I don't know. Hey, where'd they go? They disappeared on me. I might have spooked them. I'm a little close, but I think they'll be all right if I do the old chum first, get them happy, and then put a bait back. And I've got these guys, their liveies are still doing okay, so let me clean up and then we'll get to, get to playing. All right, I chunked a bunch of these up. So I'm gonna start uh, getting some scent in the water. The current's ripping pretty good. So I want to get those chunks down. I'm not going to keep stringing them along there. Get them happy. Then uh, I think I'm going to put a knocker rig on and put one of those liveys down right off the bat. While I screwed up already, my anchor slipped and I rolled right into the snook hole. Well, that's bad. I should just get up and reset, but let me see here. Oh, no, they're still down there, but 
sitting right on top of them unless they kind of push back maybe yeah that was that was bad i need to let out a lot more anchor line there he goes he's going away so i spooked him out of there already dang it oh yeah they're over there now well shoot i'll rig up and throw one down there just for the sake of it what the heck oh man i'm just dragging i gotta reset i just screwed this all up I'm gonna go right over that school. There they go, right there. Golly. That was just not good. And this, there they are, right there. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Holy crap, look at all of them. Look at all of them. Those are big ones. God, I'm stupid. God, I'm stupid. Oh my gosh. There they are. I'm just a tourist. Disregard me. All right, now we're reset. Um, see how much farther back I am. They're kind of hanging out in those pools over there. Got a knocker rig set up. This is a seven knot circle hook. Uh, I think this is a two ounce weight because the current's ripping pretty good. And then uh, I've got my chunks. I'm going to start pitching those out. Just to kind of get them interested and happy. I literally drove right over them, which is never good, but screwed up. So I'm really going to have one shot at the bigger ones. Uh, as soon as you pick up and get one on, that's going to kind of shut down the bite for the smarter big one. So I've got to try to make this work. All right, there's our bait there. Got them right through the chin, out the top of the nose there. Okay. Oops. Twist it up. There it goes. Let's get this guy back in the hole there. Drop to the bottom. There, it's gonna give a little bit of slack. Ooh, that current is running. Oh, no, I think someone's got it. It's got it or just messing with it? I know something's popping it. Want him, wanted him to take it. There he's taking it. There he's taking it. Let's see if he's on. There. Oh, no. Let it go. Did it pull it off? The other problem is there's going to be snappers in there. It's taking it. Look at all these snappers right below me. I think they either stole it or it's on. I'm actually a little bit too far, but... Uh, weeds. Weeds and they stole it. Yeah. I think those are snappers eating it. All right, let's try this again. Just wanted to drop down, not give it so much slack. Something's messing with it. I think they might have already chomped it off. I think they stole it already. 
Nope, it's on. Got him on. Oh! I pulled it out of his mouth. That was a good one. That was a good one. God dang it. All right, try this again. I'm so far out, they're, they're not too suspicious, I don't think. All right, one's got it this time. Either that or I got some weeds. Something's on there. There it goes. There we go. Ugh. No, you're coming out. You gotta come out. Is this just a nice snapper or is this a snook? Snapper or snook? Snapper, that's what I thought. Dang it. It's a nice snapper. Yeah, you're a big boy. There's a nice snapper. You swallow it. Yep. All right. You can keep it. You're not what I want. All right. Try again. All right. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's got to be a nurse shark. That's got to be the shark. The way it's thumping. Oh, that's going to ruin everything. That's gonna kill the bite for sure. Yep, nurse shark. Dang it. Nurse shark in the current is never good. I want my weight and hook back, buddy. Oh, I knew it. Tell right away the way it thumps. Oh, this is going to be a pain to try to get them in. Screw this. I'm not going to deal with you. Just grab the spool, pop it. Dang it. Oh, well, that killed the hole. Uh, something was messing with it. I think he might have took it. There we go. Snapper. Feeling snapper-ish. Not very big. Ah, nice size one. Definitely be an eater. But you are not a snook. Come here. Yeah, that's a pretty good size one. But not a snook. You'd definitely be an eater. Nash Bubba. Swallowed it. Using up all my hooks, buddy. Oh, I think the snook have outsmarted me. What to do, what to do. Oh, there we go. Staying down. Is that another shark? Oh, grouper. Goliath grouper. In the house. Get up here. The current is starting to slow down, I think, so these other species are migrating around.
not a snook. Ugh. You are not the snook. Why are you eating my bait? Not snook. There we go. And there you go. Not the snook. What's happening, man? Where are the snook? That's flashbacks of yesterday, last night. Super full moon, low tides. Not good. All right, we're gonna bobber fish for tarpon. Just gonna put it there and watch that bobber. Watch it. See if it starts moving. Looking for a tarpon to take it. Bobbering. Just bobbering. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, got too much drag. I got, I got my drag locked down. There it goes. That's how you, oh! That's how you bobber fish. Just like that. Pretty easy stuff. That's how we do it. Oh, it came off. There you go. Nice one, buddy. And that is the rig. <laughs> it just uh, keeps that bait suspended and then Let's do it again. All right, I am done for the day. A lot of sun left, but I caught enough. Uh, kind of blew it on the old uh, snook tree there. A lot of these spots you get one shot and then uh, if you make a mistake and then they're pretty smart and then they just shut down there. Or if you catch one, then it's really hard to catch more of them. But that's kind of the way it goes. That first uh, anchor was the one thing I didn't really put a lot of effort into and dragged it right over the hole and that just shut it all down but uh caught a bunch of nice mangroves that would be a good eater size got that uh, grouper shark uh yeah the uh atlantic side ended up getting blown out so i didn't even look for a big tarpon or the bonefish played with those little juveniles my buddies always good for a little fun there but uh yeah not a bad day i caught all those pilchards so i got a few baggies worth so happy with that but uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.